We all know that the climate is changing, largely as a result of human activity. It has never been more urgent to build the resilience of our agroecosystems so that they have a buffer and the capacity to adjust to change. And although often overlooked, fungi are a vital part of that process. Hello again, my name is Alison Puglio and I'm an ecologist with a particular interest in fungi. Over the last couple of decades, I've had the privilege of working with all kinds of farmers and I've witnessed a change in thinking about the ways in which agriculture is practised in this country. I've been inspired to hear farmers talk about the enormous benefits, both ecologically and economically, that can be gained by rethinking soils. And that includes getting fungi back into agricultural soils. In this video, we explore that change in thinking. We look at what fungi do in agricultural soils and some practical tips for getting fungi back on the farm. Australian soils are ancient and fragile. Throughout the landscape, we see the damage resulting from European farming techniques that are inappropriate for our soils, climates and ecosystems. These include widespread soil erosion, desertification, compaction both through domestic stock and agricultural machinery, acidification, eutrophication, and perhaps most critically, the loss of organic matter and vital nutrients. We have had to compensate through the extensive use of irrigation and chemical fertilisers, both of which are incredibly expensive and unsustainable. However, progressive farmers recognise the importance of maintaining or recreating healthy soils. These farmers know that fungi do exactly the same thing as fertiliser and irrigation, except that fungi do it better and without the environmental damage. The ways in which we define and think about soil is changing. Traditionally, it was considered by many farmers and soil scientists predominantly in relation to its physical and chemical properties, the inorganic components. The great significance of soil biology, particularly fungi, was often ignored. Fungi are vital to not only the architecture of soils, but also to the availability of nutrients and water. By holding soil particles apart, fungi provide spaces in soil. They make it porous, and in doing so, they aerate it, making it inhabitable to other organisms. Fungi also protect crops, suppressing pathogens and nematodes. The fungi that grow in agroecosystems are mostly arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi, or AM fungi for short. They form tree-like branching structures called arbuscles inside plant root cells, increasing the surface area and helping them to capture nutrients such as phosphorus, sulphur and nitrogen, as well as micronutrients. If soil is biologically diverse and robust, if the foundation is solid, then everything else has the possibility to flourish. Consequently, we can achieve better nutrient integrity in our crops, we can maximise the health of our livestock and increase our overall resilience to the vagaries of climate. Ideally, we want to get a range of fungi back into our crop soils, but also into the remnant vegetation, the windbreaks and shelter belts and non-cultivated areas of the farm. There are two main things we can do to encourage fungi. The first is to maximise the diversity of habitats and conditions for a great range of different fungi to colonise. Diversity is key. Allowing a diverse range of different organic matter to accumulate, that is in terms of the size and age structure, as well as the different species. This provides possibility for a range of different fungi, each of which has particular habitat and microclimate preferences to establish. The second thing is to reduce the stresses, to minimise the things that damage or destroy fungi. Physically disturbing soils through digging or tilling or excavating physically damages or destroys them. Compacting soil through the use of heavy machinery can crush them, or the use or overuse of chemicals and fertilisers can poison them. 
high levels of phosphorus or nitrogen fertiliser can inhibit the formation of AM fungi. Being aware of the requirements, conditions and stresses to which fungi respond will help maximise their potential in regenerating and revitalising Australia's agricultural soils. Part of understanding fungi is being able to identify them and that's what we focus on in the next video.